Ashley from Outer Tree Reviews and today we are unboxing Deadbolt Mystery Society. This is a box I hear about all the time. I've never actually done it myself. Um, I'm curious to see the puzzles and stuff like that. I have done puzzle boxes before so this is gonna be fun. My husband and I do puzzles together all the time so this is definitely something we can get into and enjoy. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it. All right so every month you are gonna solve a standalone mystery. So these boxes don't build on each other, you can pick it up anywhere, and it's one mystery per box. Um, you are gonna receive a case file and everything you need to close and solve the case in here, that's it. There is a 20% off coupon um, for a, any subscription, it's minus 20, I'll put that in the description below. This box is $24.99 a month. I don't know what's in here. Obviously, this is not gonna be the funnest unboxing because you have to do the puzzles to see all the fun. I will link to my blog below where you can find us doing all the puzzles. I will do all that fun stuff. Um, but this is just the simple unboxing so you can kind of get an idea of what's included and how the puzzles work. Um, I will link obviously also to Deadbolt Mystery Society so you can check them out too. So the box is tells you Sanitarium, a Saturn Hills Asylum, Uh, mystery. I'm sorry, I'm thinking out that word sanitarium. There's also a sanatorium, um, which is for people with, who are caught. I always confuse the two, and I was thinking, what is that? Oh, there we go again. Just blabbering. I'm like, actually, I, that's not true. I wasn't blabbering. I was thinking because I was just talking to my husband. So we were, he was like, sanatorium? That's an asylum. I was like, no, sanatorium is where people with like tuberculosis. My grandmother had tuberculosis you know 70 years ago um so she went to a sanatorium and they had like an open air school she would talk about it they would put them on the roof and they would learn out in the open air because tuberculosis it's just a terrible disease but she was she you know she that was when she was young she got married had kids lived a long and happy life so <laughs> she was a grandma <laughs> right <laughs> not to bring this this down all right so um inside here we have a red balloon and then we have this um, Wariel, Wariel card. This is the collector's card. So pop, pop. possibly every box comes with one of these and you collect them as you go. And then here we have, it looks like a deck of cards. We're gonna open this up. Ooh, this looks fun, right? So we have one. The Wastelands of Laurel, they all say that. So the back here, it's like, almost like if you've ever played Magic the Gathering or something like that, where you have a card and it gives you different hit points. Um, I don't know what this time, I'm just pretending I don't know. <laughs> all right, so this is D Demon Prince of Earth, Ocean Dwelling Savage, so there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 cards in total so that's cool i don't know how we're going to use them yet but i'm sure this is going to be like my husband's going to love this i can tell you right now just based on that <laughs> all right so there's that and then we have our papers so we have a bunch you couldn't see that but i just dropped everything all right so i don't know if everything was in order if it was sucks to be me all right so it says start here so you've purchased one of our boxes you've opened it and you're thinking to yourself now what here are some helpful tips on how to solve a deadbolt mystery this is basically instructions <clears throat> will street detective agency um so this is like a letter from benjamin and then we have ooh some case brief some C valley falls police so this is like some crime scene uh clues and pictures um, we have some suspect information. So there's that. Then we have a map. This is this looks actually like a lot of fun. So there's that map of the area. Ooh, more. So you have a bunch of suspects. Okay. Here's another creepy suspect. Dude, he looks super creepy. All right. Then we have a card with um, like five to six different names on it, all written on like a board. 
Don't know how we'll be using that. From the desk of Dr. Norman Blackthorne, PhD. Session notes from Frederick Lagrange. I'm guessing this is one of the suspects. And this is obviously a puzzle that we're going to have to figure out. All right. Then we have The King in Yellow by Robert W. Chambers. This is clearly a puzzle as well. Down here in the crown, you're going to be doing something? Not sure. All right. Interview with Richard Queensacre. So I'm guessing this is a suspect. No, these are not sus. Maybe they're sus. I don't know. So this is an interview from the desk of Dr. Norman Blackthorne, Rorschachian evaluation. So this is a Rorschach evaluation of Ronald Emerson. And then finally, in these papers, we have an interview with the Countess. And at the bottom here, it says, if Farah hails from the land of Erberta, Giron is the patron saint of decay in the mortal. Uh, so it's going to be one of those puzzles where this person is, you know, where you're figuring out how do these two connect and you're through deduction. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to say that the right way. I'm hoping it makes sense. All right. Then we have this kind of vision test puzzle, I'm guessing. Then, ooh. Oh, and this gives you the answer. So if you want to solve it and you want to know that you're right, you scan this baby and it'll tell you. That's super cool. Valley Falls Lawn Care. That's interesting. And it's an actual website. So I'm curious to see what's on there. If there's like clues or something that helps you to solve the case. All right. So this is actually the object card. The Wastelands of Warl. War. Uh, object to be the first oh so this is what you do with the cards to be the first player to reach an overall score of 100 and then there's clash and the object of that is to be the first player to reach an overall score of 100 so that's pretty cool then we have another puzzle with a scan code I'm excited I really am this looks like fun you know what I'm doing tomorrow night it's like by the way like 10 30 right now a vision test and then finally actually not finally there's one more thing after this this is um, my character hails from a land of extreme cold <laughs> it's all written backwards <laughs> so that's cool and then finally we have this ID card with this lady on it. I think that's the Countess. Um, so that is everything in my Deadbolt Mystery Society Sanitarium. Yes, Sanitarium Edition. <laughs> um, if you're interested in the full review, um, check that out below. We will, I will take pictures of us solving it, going through all the puzzles and stuff like that. Um, I think this is a cool thing for like two people. Um, and like a good thing if you, like I've always said, I think I've told you guys a million and one times, but maybe you're new. My husband and I, my husband particularly gets bored of television and he just is like, I need to do something else that doesn't work for me. I can't just sit and watch TV. So he likes puzzles. We'll do puzzles. We'll play card games and stuff like that. Um, so this kind of stuff for us is really fun. It's something that's different from the usual. It allows us to laugh a lot, like a laugh a lot. Um, <laughs> so it, this is cool. I love it for that aspect of it, but you could also do this with a group too, like as a game night, um, especially since you're solving a mystery, it's teamwork, it's working together and solving stuff. It's a lot of fun. Um, so if you're interested in checking out Deadbolt, Dead, la, 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 Deadbolt Mystery Society, I will link to them below and I will also put that coupon code down there. As always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.